It's the first meeting of its kind, a forum that brings together Ghana's public, private and civil sector partners. It's being run by the Alliance for Affordable Internet. They're concerned that only 17% of Ghanaians regularly use the internet, and that is mainly in urban areas. For the majority, access to broadband is simply too expensive. The Alliance believes that's holding up other key developments. Access to water, clean water, education, health, etc. For those to be realized, the internet and access to technology is such an important tool and it's one that can make it possible. The Ghanaian government has just finalised its new broadband policy. This aims to bring more affordable internet to more people by the year 2020. However, this forum isn't just a chance to hear what public stakeholders are doing, it's a chance to galvanise private partners too. I'm personally frustrated that after all the grey hairs I have from my work at Busy Internet and my last five years at Google, that we're still talking about the numbers, at the internet penetration rate in Ghana that we're talking about today. Um, there's many steps that have been taken both in the private sector and the public sector. But again, as a Ghanaian, so much more needs to happen today. Ghana needs to be a competitive destination and we've got competition we cannot waste another day. There are a variety of challenges. Many rural areas in Ghana lack the infrastructure to run fixed broadband services. Developing that costs money, which makes it even more crucial for both public and private sectors to work together to bring about change. Katarina Vatotsi for CCTV in Accra, Ghana.